More than six weeks after a gunman opened fire, killing 19 students and two teachers at Robb Elementary School, we could finally get some answers today. The community of Uvalde has been pleading for transparency in the investigation. Our Chris Sargi joins us live in the newsroom. And Chris, a committee to hear uh, from the Uvalde Sheriff today is planned. Yes, and the committee that is meeting this morning is the one that is conducting interviews in private rather than the one that does them in public. Still, they did give us an idea this morning of what to expect in their report, and it could include the surveillance video from the Robb Elementary School hallway during the shooting. To this point, we've only seen bits and pieces of that video after it was obtained by members of the media. Today, the committee is interviewing Department of Public Safety personnel, the Alert Center. That's an organization that helps train and prepare officer response to public shootings. And they'll also interview Uvalde Sheriff Ruben Nolasco, who they initially said declined to be interviewed and only agreed after receiving a notice that his refusal could have consequences. The chairman of the committee is State Rep Dustin Burroughs, who said they are trying to balance the need to get information to the public while at the same time making sure their findings are accurate. He told those in the hearing room today that they'll release a preliminary report as soon as they are able and he hopes it will include that hallway video. I can tell people all day long what it is I saw. The committee can tell people all day long what we saw, but it's very different to see it for yourself and we think that's very important. We'll continue to put pressure on the situation and consider all options and making sure that video gets out for the public to view. The Uvalde mayor and DPS also supporting the release of the video, although Burroughs said that any video released would not contain graphic images or sounds of the victims or any violence. Now, there is a second committee at the Capitol that's also conducting interviews in public, with many of the same people being interviewed in private. It remains to be seen if the Uvalde sheriff takes part in that committee. Cleo.